Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and 10 What you're going to be watching here is an excerpt coming from our webinar on how we actually taught a lot of our current members at 10 how to be able to take advantage of the current COVID-19 epidemic and how to be able to double or even triple your referrals by taking advantage of the current, current state that's happening right now. So just to let you guys know, you're going to be watching an excerpt coming from that two and a half hour webinar that we actually created. But at the very same time, if you enjoy this quick excerpt, you're going to be able to actually watch the full webinar. All you have to do is click the link down below. And at the very same time as watch the webinar all the way through because it's going to be on for a very limited time, then we just pull it out. But we're going to be offering you guys a lot of additional bonuses that you should take advantage of now. So enjoy the video and make sure you click the link down below after you watch this video. And most of the time is when we're working with facilities, when they're referring patients to us, it's because we solve a particular problem that you're facing. But with the larger problems that are going on with the COVID-19, there's other problems that they're facing at this very moment that we should probably be solving, right? Now, if you guys probably started looking back and when we started seeing a lot of the problems that were being happen that were happening with the COVID-19 scare, um, there was that one nursing home in Washington State. And that was one of the first um, nursing homes that for some reason had over 70 people positive for the COVID-19 virus. And so they shut down that place, right? They shut it down. And other facilities, other nursing homes were starting to see that. And they said, well, we need to shut our place down. So everyone was like, all right, nobody in, nobody out. So guess what? Family members couldn't visit. Definitely sales and marketers like ourselves cannot visit. All of a sudden, people, not even family and friends could visit, right? So with that, we have to understand that we can lose this type of business, especially if the only thing that you're good at, the only thing that you have been doing in marketing is actually just walking in and visiting. Okay, What we teach in our sales you know, training, in our marketing education, is that you should actually be doing more than just cold walk-ins. Right? And also understand that you need to also make sure that you look at the trends that are happening. And when we, before even we um, had that experience in Washington uh, with that nursing home, that the first nursing home that had over 70 patients with positive COVID, you know, we were already monitoring what was going on in China, monitoring everything that was going on in Asia and Europe. And my team was sitting down and we we're saying, you know what, this, this seems like it's going to get to the U.S. eventually. And so we decided that we wanted to be ready for what was going on. We just wanted to be ready. Most companies don't look at trends. Most companies, you know, even outside the industry, the home health industry or home care industry, don't look at trends. And these are sometimes major companies. A good example for, you know, is, you know, Amazon, right? Amazon came along selling books, right? Then they created the ebook, the Kindle, um, and they were making lots of money with that. And that because of what they were doing, Barnes and Nobles, Borders bookstores, who should have done it in the first place, and they were romanticizing the way they were doing business previously is the companies that actually did not look at the trend and shut down. If you guys remember Blockbuster, they used to be around everywhere, right? I remember I used to go to Blockbuster a lot, but they did not follow the trend and Netflix came along and closed them up. And so we have to be understanding that as a home care company, as a home health agency, we cannot romanticize the old ways of marketing. We must be able to introduce new ways and understand that things are changing as well. Okay, so let me share with you guys, you know, what we decided to do. 